Hello, everybody. We are back for another episode of Fire Emblem Three Houses. If you've been enjoying it so far, leave a like. Let me know. Um, but it looks like we're starting to get into the meat of the game. And you know, I I was gonna end it off with two episodes, but I honestly just felt way too excited. I had to keep playing this game. So let's just explore a bit. Uh, can you run? No. Oh, you can go first person, but it doesn't seem like. I can move while doing so. Okay. Um, let's talk to these people right here. I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust up with the bandits. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Wow. Previous professor was pussy, and this nigga was talking shit, but that dude was pussy. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers' Academy. To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. Okie doke. May I ask a favor of you? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we can zoom in a bit. That's cool for like a more over the shoulder move. Okay. Have a roster here. Oh, well, I don't want to spoil myself. I'll, uh, I'll just keep going. I gotta walk here. How do I go? Okay. Mini map, yep. Okay, cool. And this will give us. Let's just talk to people. Spotted Edelgard, so I guess these people, the little small ones, can't really talk to them, but these you can. So you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity, I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Glesberg. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Sure. Um. Let's hear about Petra. To the west of Fodlan is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Okay, so it sounds like she's going to have a lot of maybe speed, maybe charisma. Doesn't seem like she's very, uh, to the west of oh. Bridget is to the west Bridget is a doesn't seem like it's very attack based. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. What is the other girl a commoner too? She's a songstress too? from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers' Academy. Okay. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave, but don't worry. I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Interesting. He's the second son of Count Bergley's. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Hmm. Okay. And they all have these defining abilities that I've been looking at 
Some of them pretty good. Pretty good. He only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. Linhart looks like a nice uh, healer, with uh, with his defining ability and good magic. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. Grant hit. His house is that of Duke Ivan, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is perhaps too pleased with its own status. So this guy has no weaknesses, which is cool. His ability sounds all right. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but <laughs> actually that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. Hmm. I can't tell if the strength, like, which one is a, is that book magic? Is it healing magic? I can't quite tell, but he can be a bowman, it seems. I don't know what the flag stands for. Maybe that's somewhere. And we'll see Edelgard here. Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant, even. But there's little to be done. One day, I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Oh, do we now? Okay. Cool. So we learn a bit about the black... Uh, shit. <laughs> the black something? Uh, black horse? Black... I don't know, I forgot. Greetings. You must be the new professor. What a pleasure. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Uh, and by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. Head ass. <laughs> okay, let's keep going around. So we're in the courtyard now. Hmm, spotted clawed, okay. Uh, let's talk to this student right here. The Golden Deer House is for students of the Lester Alliance. Our house leader is heir to the Alliance's leadership, House Regan. We have plenty of other prominent nobles as well. Okay. Uh, well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Sure, let's go through. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. Okay, but buddy, calm down there. Without a bit of mystery, let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other, little by little. Yeah, calm down there, buddy. You're moving, moving a little too fast there for me. <laughs> he's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on it, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, deep down, he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. Sounds like a douche. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and... Nah, actually, that's about it. Okay, so this guy could end up being really good. Um... Depending on how his luck levels up, that's interesting. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. Mm. He's the second son oh. of... If you ask... Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out, she gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. 
You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? Interesting. Gains double skill experience. So, I mean, that sounds like a pretty good unit. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter. And that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Okay. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. If you look up Lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. Hmm. Adjacent male allies deal three extra damage. That sounds like, you know, you could run all male and throw or like a all male attackers with, with her and then run some female mages. I don't know. Or ranged. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. Another one of the male ally adjacents. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Add some yeah. different um, elements to it. That's so. Okay, what else is over here? Dimitri. Right, right. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. And I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the Blue Lions catch your attention? Let's find out about the Blue Lions. Me? Oh, um, please forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me, but I understand if that can't be helped. Well, he didn't say anything about himself, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> Hello. Dudu was born in Dusker and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. Okay, interesting. Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. I don't quite know what battalion means, so I guess we'll find out later. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar, but I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Lockpick? That sounds pretty good. That looks like a pretty good thing. Sylvain is the heir to House Gautier. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said, well, he's always been a bit of a <clears throat> skirt chaser, so to speak. Pardon my bluntness. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. Right, so another, uh, this time a female adjacent one. She was born to imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. Okay, live to serve. That sounds nice. That sounds nice. Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. She's cheerful and hardworking. Brilliant, really. Though, she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. 
Grant MT plus three. Uh, don't know what that is. And hit plus three or plus five with gambits. Don't know what a gambit is either. I appreciate your effort. Nice. We're gonna. We're definitely gonna continue exploring. This is the classroom of the Black Eagle House. Black which Eagle, is for okay. students from the Adrestian Empire. Our house leader is Princess Edelgard. There are many other nobles among our ranks as well. Huh. Okay, now we know we know a lot of these people, so let's just talk to them. This episode is gonna be a talking episode, it appears. Well, aren't you just lovely? Is this your first time in the monastery? Shall I show you around? Oh, my name is Dorothea. Before I joined the Academy, I was a member of an opera company in the Empire. You should hear me sing sometime. Hmm. Is it true that you saved Edelgard? That's incredible. The name's Caspar, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Linhard, goodbye. Damn. <laughs> Sheesh, Linhard. How'd you get into the Academy with those manners? So, are you a student here too? Maybe we'll be in the same class. So I just don't even talk? Like, are you a student? Goodbye. <laughs> what? I don't talk to strangers. Bernadetta, this is no stranger. Our house leader owes this person a great debt. Is that not right? I am Ferdinand von Eyre, legitimate son of the Eyre family, the Empire's foremost house. Are you going to join our class? I look forward to getting better acquainted with you. Interesting. Hubert's so cute. Oh, I can't talk to these two. Okay, over here. I am Hubert, a humble servant of Lady Edelgard. I heard you came to the aid of her highness. You have my most sincere thanks. This is Petra. She has come all the way from Bridget to study in the Empire. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. In Fodland terms, she would be called heir to the throne. Hello. I am called Petra. I am pleased to be meeting with... Uh, no. Uh, I am pleased to have met you. <laughs> also, she don't know English. Okay. Why is my... Why my jacket just swinging? Like, what's the point of that? Why not just wear the damn jacket? Why, why is it flowing like that? Oh, what's good, bro? Can I pet the dog? Oh, nothing. Just walk through it. What do you want? Okay, I weirdo. I am Yuritsa. I teach here. Weapon instruction. These are the training grounds. Goodbye. Well, damn, nigga. You really have to be like that? Feels nice. I don't know if there's a running option. Um, maybe I've just missed it, but... Could be I could go a little faster, but this classroom belongs to the Blue Lion House. Our house leader is Prince Dimitri. Right. All of us here hail from the holy kingdom of Fargus. Right. Okay. Hey, hey. Let's talk to some of y'all. Hey there. Are you the mercenary who saved his highness? It's an honor to meet you. I'm Sylvain Jose Gatier. Feel free to say Jose. Hi you like. <laughs> Jose. Okay. My right, thanks. Hi there. You must be the one everyone's talking about. I'm Ash. Great to meet you. This here is Dudu. He serves Prince Dimitri. I have heard that you rescued his highness. Words cannot express my gratitude. Should you ever require my strength, please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. Heard you loud and clear, brother. Mm, brother. Okay, can't talk to you. I have heard all about what you did from Prince Dimitri. As a citizen of Fargus, I thank you. He also said you're quite skilled. And he doesn't just say things like that. I look forward to sparring with you and beating you. Oh, really, Felix? Do you always speak of fighting right away? Oh, and uh, you may call me Ingrid. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Okay. And who's this? You don't look familiar at all. Do you work here at the monastery? 
Oh, Mercy. Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking about? Now that I think about it, that does sound like something Dimitri may have said. I suppose you'll be enrolling at the Officer's Academy too, then? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend. I'm Annette. It's nice to meet you. Okay, okay. okay. The last house, the Golden Deer house. So it's it's Black Eagle, Blue Lion, Golden Deer. Got it. Ah, you must be the renowned mercenary who rescued Claude. Honestly, you should not have troubled yourself over the likes of him. Damn. My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. You will want to remember it. All right, buddy. Fuck off, <laughs> dickhead. So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are. It's such an honor to meet you, Ignatz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. And I Shit, that was an accident. <laughs> I was coughing. Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. Oh, really? Everyone? I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is M Marianne von Edmund. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. Damn, yo, eyes are baggy as hell. What you be doing? Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leonie Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? Yeah, okay, I'll go back. And I have no idea who you are, bitch. <laughs> How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. Okay. I think I liked... Hmm, I think I like the Black Eagle because the mage power along with, you know, it, it seems very balanced. So you have chosen the Black Eagles led by Edelgard, correct? Yeah, I'm gonna go with them. Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them brother oh i am so sincerely sorry i did not mean to interrupt i am in the middle of something flame is it urgent no no it's nothing more importantly who is this this is our newest professor at the academy oh my a new addition to the officers academy i am so very pleased to meet you professor i am sedith's little sister flame i am so happy to make your acquaintance let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Wait. So our new professor is you? I didn't see that one coming. Easy, Caspar. Aren't you being a bit rude? You know it's a waste of time to expect politeness from him. It will be a pleasure learning from you, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. <laughs> don't look at me like that. Oh, and please don't talk to me too much either. <sighs> I'm sorry for the chaos you've walked into. 
I fear we are rather close in age, Professor. I hope you do not mind if we treat you like one of us. In our class, we try to treat each other as equals, despite any differences in age or status. Personally, I would love to include you in that inner circle. You have a gut, Professor. I will take great joy from your teachings. Petra, I believe you mean to say that our Professor has guts. That's a bit different from having a gut. You can't go around saying someone so slim and attractive has a gut. Oh, uh, please take my apologies. I have not yet mastered this language. Professor, I want you to know that it's perfectly acceptable for you to treat me as you do the others. I may be the Imperial Princess, but here at the Academy, I'm just another student. That said, know that I have high expectations of you, and high hopes. But I'm certain you can lead the Black Eagle House to greatness. Sure, sure. Now let's break the ice with a training session. I want to see our new teacher in action. Why will the ice be broken? Is this a custom I have missed in my studies? Not real ice, just the ice of... Um, well, it just means let's get to know each other. I don't want to train. Let's stay in the classroom and learn from a book. Let's all calm down and have a nice cup of tea, how about? Doesn't that sound lovely, Professor? I know we all agree to treat each other as equals, but there is a limit to what I can tolerate. The esteemed Black Eagle House requires order. <laughs> Looks like your first job will be to quiet down this racket. I don't envy you. Uh, they're not normally this... rowdy. I do hope you can manage, Professor. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything, absolutely everything, about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. 
Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Hmm, what could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. With each moon, professors of the Officer's Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. Alright, so this episode is long enough. I will... Cut the episode off here and we'll pick up at this exact spot, learning how to work the calendar. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like if you're enjoying and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.